Hi everyone, welcome. Hi guys, welcome. My name is Belinda for those that don't know me. You can call me B. Everyone else does. <laughs> and today we're starting a four week colour along using this beautiful image by Monia Gates. Excuse me, pencils out. Also known as Colour My Dreams. <laughs> Selena, Kenny, Robin, Lulu, Karen, Sh Sherry, <laughs> Sh Ev, who else? Dorothy, uh, Janine, Cassandra. Ah, ah, ah. What are you doing? She just kissed the camera. I told her off so she ran away. <laughs> And hello, this is Shadow. Hi, Shadow. A to you two. A What are you doing? Say hi, everyone. Hi. No? Okay, fine. Don't say hi. <laughs> hi, Emily. Welcome. Oh, hi, Anna. Welcome. Oh, dear. She's being such a poopy bum. You are getting hair everywhere, my dearest. <laughs> Alrighty, I'm going to pop up a couple of links here. Uh, we've got our images available from here. Hi, Steve. Welcome. And uh, we have some rules. Let's just chuck them up there while we're at it. Somewhere down here. Somewhere. Rules. Hello. Hey, Shadow, don't bite me. <laughs> She's so dangerous. She's biting me. <laughs> she's she's attacking me, peoples. Hi out there, it's me, Steve. <laughs> Got our handy dandy illustration. Ah <laughs> oh, dear me. Hi Terraline, welcome. Welcome, welcome, welcome to the big blue house. Funny this uh child children's uh, TV show seem to be the theme of uh, everything in my head. <laughs> Shows I'm a child at heart, right? Yes. It does. It does. Now, what was that? I missed all that. Somebody's talking. Here we go. Hi, Selena. Say hello to Anna. We love you. <laughs> Hi, Aspie. Nothing wrong with that? I don't think so either. Having kids uh, stuff in my brain, I think, is pretty, pretty, pretty standard for me. <laughs> hi, Loretta. Welcome. So, uh, yeah, who, you know, hi. <laughs> hi, anyone else that's popped in that I may have missed? Oh, dear me. Did I say hi, Aspie? Hi, Aspie. Welcome. <coughs> Excuse me. Got the coughs. Got the coughs. It's the cat. The cat hair got in my throat. <laughs> oh my goodness. So, uh, we're going to be colouring up this beauty today. I have printed her on this paper. Hello. My coffee stained cover sheet. <laughs> it just sits around and then look what happens. It uh, gets spilled on. But this is the 190 GSM mixed medium vellum surface it's got a bit of a, a surface it's not completely smooth oh actually I think I may have printed on the wrong side oh oh well there you have it doesn't matter <laughs> we're going to be using polychromos pencils today well I'm going to attempt to use them I don't know if I use them very well but why not give it a go hopefully uh some newbies here will be able to catch on to some interesting things while we're coloring and uh, that's the most important thing is uh, to pick one thing up at least, hopefully. <laughs> hopefully, I've got some skin colours. Uh, what else have I got? I've got some lip colour. Pink lepers. And I've got some eye colour. Ooh, pretty green eyes. I thought we'd do... I don't know what colour hair yet. Probably, I'm thinking maybe a pinky brown colour, maybe. Uh, giving a pink 
purple, yellow kind of wings maybe, or just, I'm not sure yet. I'm not sure, but the flowers here, I, I think, I don't know what kind of flowers these are, but I think we'll do them pink. Uh, I think that's why I went with green for the eyes. I, I think we kind of, yeah, balance it out a little bit there. But you know, <laughs> we could just do pink and greens. I don't know. We'll see what evolves out of it. Uh, but today I'm going to try to attempt to colour. Hi, Randy, I got your message uh, on the uh, comments too. Thank you. Uh, we're going to attempt to do this today with her attempt. I say attempt because sometimes it doesn't turn out like that. <laughs> sometimes it turns out completely different to what I actually envisioned. So we'll see how we go. Before we start though, uh, I've got some happy mail. Look. <laughs> you never guess who this might be from. Um, the lovely Emily wrote me a little card. Look at this little recycled paper and everything. <laughs> How sweet! You got just short of a quarter of your diamond painting done. Awesome, Ev! Someone finished this image for you, Loretta. Aww. Um, and, and, look inside, what came, obviously one of her cards, but it says on here, hi Belinda, thank you for introducing me to the joy that is Aussie chocolate, Emily, <laughs> and look what she did, it's a Tim Tam sticker, <laughs> how awesome is this? I love it. Tim Tams. <laughs> it's too cute. You're right. Hi, are you, hi Helen. Hi Gracelyn. Hi Kenny. Hi Kelly. Hi everyone. Have I said hi to everyone yet? <laughs> Yay! How cute is this? And look, there's a couple of others. There's a little logo. There's a little cup of... What is that? Coffee? Oh, a teapot. And look at this teapot. Look at the holographicness. That is this sticker. It is so cute. Hi, Patty. Hi, Barbara. Welcome. Oh, awesome. Not up yet, but soon. Check this one out. It's got little glittery holographic sections. I love it. It's beautiful. Thank you so very much, Emily. Um, I love this. It is awesome. Uh, she was saying that she tried to make a Tim Tam emoji, but they look like little poops. So... <laughs> This is cute. This is cute. <laughs> she just said that they'll be up in her shop soon. Very soon. How exciting. Hi, Wendy. Welcome. Hi, True. Welcome. So, uh, yes. So, yes, you can get a Tim Tam soon from Emily Illustrator's Etsy store. Go check it out. She's got these cute stickers and they're amazing. Look at this. Here we go. Here's a plug for you, Emily. <laughs> they look amazing it is a it, you did do very well emily i love it it's very cute very um tim tammy and i love this the tim tam slime this is good this is good <laughs> i love it i also did get a lovely little present from the lovely kelly she sent me some glue i mean you guys might think that's kind of random but for me awesome <laughs> And with the glue, she sent me this cute little can candle. And uh, I don't know where I put my bath bomb. I actually should have opened this before the stream. I ah, totally forgot. Uh, it's kind of taped together. Let me just untape it. It smells amazing. It's so hard when you get these lovely gifts. You can't even, I can't even explain the smell. But I really do love it. It's really pretty. It's a candle. Two wick. And it smells like... I don't even know. It smells amazing. <laughs> don't even know what it smells like. You know what? It's probably on the bottom. No, it's not on the bottom. I don't know. Kelly, what does it smell like? It smells good. White cedar? Is that it? 
Is that the box for it? I don't even know. And this cute little bath bomb, which also smells really yummy. Peony Rose. Is that what this is? Anyway, this little glass would be great for watercolour watercolor water too. Very cool. Very cute. I already have a crystal glass that I use for watercolour. This is it here. It's got uh, roses on it. I like it. I got it from the op shop. <laughs> Why not? You get the most amazing things from op shops, though. <sighs> Alright. Put that there. So it doesn't get broken. Hi, Zeely. Thank you, Kelly. Awesome. Beautiful. Wonderful. All right. And thank you to Emily. Temptown Slam. Oh, I gotta put it all back in my envelope. Don't want to lose them. I don't know where I'm gonna put my Temptown Slam sticker. I gotta put it somewhere where I see it all the time. I love this. I love getting mail from uh, other countries. Look at this. Look at this. Texas. <laughs> love it. Anyway. <laughs> love it. Thank you so very much to both of you. And uh, also last week I mentioned that Robin got me another cup warmer, which is amazing too. So, uh, well, actually she got it for Cam. So Cam's got that out there and he's been using it too. So very, very awesome. Now I tried to contact Amonia this morning, um, but she hasn't emailed me back or texted me back. So hyperventilating, needed to talk to you. <laughs> <laughs> thank you thank you thank you hi tammy welcome 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 you reckon that's what those flowers are fionis is that how you say it fioni that's how i say it but yeah i reckon it could be too mm. see i was gonna do them pink like this pink Oh, it smells so good. Sorry, I just sit there and smell stuff all day. <laughs> Smelly! Alright, let's do some colouring. Uh, you know what? I am so intimidated doing Monia's stuff because she's so awesome. Um, anyone else feel like that? Oh, goodness me, I feel like that. <clears throat> let's just straighten this camera up a little bit. Kitty cat. Kitty cat. Now, um, Ev, I've nearly finished my uh, into, into, into Wonderland diamond painting. I am so, so very close. Um, so, so very close. <laughs> yes, yes, don't feel intimidated by me, please. Um, I try to do things a little bit more simplified because I know that sometimes things, sometimes things don't always stick um, and uh, I think it's good to simplify things a little bit so hopefully uh, we can do that for you today oh I know true it is it is now I just want to do a big shout out to Linda sending you hugs honey I know that stuff's going on and uh, I just want to let you know love you and I hope things go well all right I don't know where to start. <laughs> where do we start? Hmm. Now, I found that a lot of people thought that uh, colouring in a large face like this, it was actually easier to do a layer of white. Now, I tried... Hi, Shell. <laughs> Welcome. Hi, Ellie. Welcome. So, I thought we'd do... I tried... A sample where I did the polychromos white under I found it a little bit more difficult but it could still be done so if you don't have a prismacolor white uh, then you could still do it with the polychromos white it just wasn't as effective but 
doing a layer of white uh, on the skin helped with people who had a little bit more of a tooth on their paper and had trouble flattening it out and making it look smooth. So I thought we'd do that again today. So I thought we'd do a coat of white. I'm going to use Prismacolor. Yep, Ali, that's what I'm going to do. <laughs> uh, just a couple of tips and tricks, especially for those who are learning, because I know that it is hard to blend if uh, you aren't used to doing it. It's something new for you. Uh, this will help give you a nice creamy kind of smooth blend. So let's do that. As I said, if you don't have... Prismacolor than the normal white you could use. Just make sure you don't put any pressure down uh, because you don't want to leave any indentations and you want the colour to come out still quite smooth. So just doing a light layer of white. <clears throat> uh, now my white, I've actually ordered some more. They finally had them at the art shop. Oh, also, um, I ordered, I've got these now, both of them, yay. But I ordered the metallic set. So that's coming too. Uh, very cute. Look at these little... There is now one where you can buy... It's like a pan set uh, with the 24 colours. So you can actually get them both together now. But I've already got the two separate ones. So uh, I didn't do that. But I got the metallic ones coming. Yay! Pretty awesome. Okay, let's do a light layer. I've got my pencil laid almost completely horizontal here and uh, we're just going to lay down a layer of colour. I know it's going to be hard to see if you've gone over that area or not. Ev! <laughs> Thank you! How cool is that? Big hearts for Ev. Hugs! Everyone hug Ev! You were looking at them today where you shall? Yes! <laughs> uh, so I've ordered them. Let's hope they come... Did that come up with anything then? It's been playing up. I didn't see our actual name pop up there, Ev, then. But uh, sending hugs. Look at that cute little character there. <laughs> Alright. Um, let's keep going. Yay! Thank you. Amazing. Um, what is going on? Nightbot just had a freak out. Why? Sorry, guys. Let me just... Weird and random stuff happening here. <laughs> all right, all right. I, I just, I think, I don't know what happened then. Sorry, guys. My computer just had a, a wacko, so hopefully that didn't cut anyone off or stop anything then. That was a bit weird. Random flashing things up on my screen. No. Okay, let's just gently color over and put a nice layer. The waxiness of the Prismacolor, or you could use um, the Holborn Soft White, or even the Luminance White would do the same thing. Tara Lynn, thank you! I have to keep my enabler going. <laughs> I won't show you what I got yesterday then. <laughs> that didn't pop up with your name then. There's something wrong with the alerts. It's not working properly. Let's try that again there. Hugs! <laughs> Hugs for you! Meow meow in the background there. <laughs> Look at that little heart go! Oh, Angela, no problems. I hope you're feeling well. Oh, vertigo. Apparently, I have vertigo. <laughs> Weird. All right, here we go. Just coloring over, coming back over with a, a a different direction. Just making sure I cover over everything there, even over the dark areas. We're giving ourselves a nice smooth base. 
The other option to doing this is to start with your lightest colour, like light peach or ivory, and do the same thing. I find that most people have a Prismacolor white pencil though nowadays. If not, it's worth investing in a couple. <laughs> So worth it. No worries, Shell. I, I popped in and then lurked. I was uh, into yours too. I was getting organised and for today. Making sure I come in on a couple of different angles there so I get uh, good coverage. And as you can see, it's not colouring over any of the details. You can still see through it. Different angle again. A couple of layers. I'm going to come over the whites of the eyes. Next door neighbour is mowing my lawn. I mean, awesome, but <laughs> the in most interesting time to do it. <laughs> I mean, he doesn't know that I do this, so. But yes, he mows my front lawn, my nature strip in my front lawn. It's not a very big area, but uh, he actually does it for a couple of neighbours. It's kind of cool. It's his therapeutic uh, meditation and prayer time, I think. <laughs> It is, it is, it is. All right, I think I'm pretty happy with that. Done a nice layer over all of that. Hi, Robin, welcome. Hi, Mona, welcome. Hi, Megan, welcome. Oh, uh, speaking of Megan, my sister, Megan, <laughs> she has a giveaway too. So we might do that uh, in the next couple of weeks. We have a giveaway for Australia only though uh, of a of the Breast Cancer Awareness Diamond Art Club Diamond Painting. Just coming over all of the skin areas. I just come on a different angle there. Make sure I cover it all. I especially think that coming over that darker area under the neck near there is a good idea just so that those darker colors look nice and smooth and not too scratchy I watch uh, Monia color with her toned paper and I I just watch the image come to life and I'm like why doesn't it work like that for me <laughs> <laughs> if I tried to use that thin paper and tried to do what she does, it would come out just weird. I don't I just don't know how she does it. She's amazing. I don't know, you learn your mediums, don't you? You it becomes second nature and you just do it. <laughs> I don't know if that's uh, we'll just make that hair I think yeah let's just make that hair down there or maybe we'll put a little bit of skin there it's gonna come on a different angle again just smoothing it all out not putting too much pressure remember really light pressure just doing a, a coating of color giving us our base layer. I know she does. It's awesome. I don't know how she does it. I honestly don't. <laughs> oh, you did, Zeely? Awesome. You'll love it. I love mine. I love mine. <laughs> we got lots of visitors today. Welcome, everyone. 
Did I say hi, Tanya? I'll just say it again just in case. <laughs> All right, now. I still haven't heard from her. I'm waiting. I'm waiting. <laughs> oh, Tammy, you have to go away for this week, Arvo. My biggest dilemma. What coloring stuff do I pack? Oh, I know. It's so hard. <laughs> I um, I went away for a weekend with my daughter. She had a calisthenics competition, and I just went to keep her company in the hotel room and drive and stuff like that. But um, I didn't go, so I had this whole weekend that I could color. But do you know what? I took only a few, a handful of images, and that didn't, I got there and I sat down and went, I don't feel like coloring this. <laughs> So frustrating. <laughs> mm -hmm. That's what I did. All right, the first color I'm going to use is Kaput Mortem, Mortem, yeah, Violet. Oh gosh, I'm having trouble with the blurry today. Hey, oh, and the color is not right either. Oh, come on, finish mowing already. Whoa, mm -mm -mm. too white. Got this white balance thing. My fingernails are not yellow, you see. <laughs> They're white. <laughs> it's all good. It is all good. It's something like that. <laughs> this is a uh, number 263, and we're going to color into some of the shadow areas now. Let me just zoom in. Oh, hello. Welcome. Look at this pretty little lady here. Pencil on the side. Uh, so holding it so that I'm not getting... Like I'm not holding it like an actual pencil like this. I'm kind of holding it on the side a little bit so I can get just a light... Oh, do you keep leaning on the... <laughs> <laughs> I've done that too. Keep leaning on the button because they're touch, the light boards are touch sensitive. Just really lightly. I'm going to do like a, a thick sort of K shape. A special K. Can you see how that's sort of a K? Coming down there like that and then just coming out. Okay. 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 <laughs> Gonna come around the eyelid where it creases there. Just lightly. And because we've got that white pencil, it doesn't it really doesn't take much to, to lay down this colour. I've just come around the bottom of the eye there as well. Look at that. Adding some shadow. Now there's a little bit of shadow here from her hair as well. So I'm just going to go and add that in. Just nice and lightly. If you want to go in a little bit stronger with colour, just come back over it again. Don't try to push hard. It won't work. I don't think I put any white in there, but that's all right. Coming around the hair there. Just adding a shadow under there. Just like that. Nice and light. I'm going to come across the nose a little bit. I'm going to do a K the opposite direction now. This is my K. A nice thick line there and then it just sort of comes off till it looks a bit like a K shape. Everyone's gone quiet. Shh. 
I love watching your live stream on Patreon. How do you do the join chat? Oh, um, <laughs> the uh, you have to go on to actual YouTube to to uh, to be able to see the chat. Um, so you have to be logged into YouTube and open the video in YouTube. Coming around the crease of the eye here. Just repeating the same line a little bit to get it nice and dark and then uh, coming under the eye adding a little bit of depth under there look how easy that color is going down let's add a little bit of a shadow here where the hair is again I'm actually going to bring this out a little bit too. Let's just sort of lightly, lightly bring that out a little bit like that. Giving you a little bit of shadow on the side of her face. Just remember this is only our very, very first layer. So we'll be going back in and redoing some areas. You're behaving and paying attention? No. <laughs> All right, just going to come onto her nose a little bit here. Add a bit of a shadow there. I'm, I'm going to use Monia's shading a little bit here too. So coming in. You may have noticed if you've printed the image already that there's actually quite a bit of shading in this nose area here. We're going to use some of that to uh, as our guide. So just extending down around the nose, coming around that crease of the nose here. I hope that mower stops soon. The lawn mower. <laughs> annoying just coming around the bottom of the nose now these little dark areas here they kind of form the point of her nose down into there so I'm just going to follow that just down the middle of her lip there So just from there I'm just going to do a bit of a triangle shape so coming in the bottom of the triangle there and just coming to a bit of a point so bottom of the triangle starts at the nose and then just form the triangle out towards the lip just giving her a little bit of shape there <laughs> looking for the special K <laughs> I don't know I heard that somewhere and just special K we have special K cereals so um, that's kind of just what it reminded me of when I started doing it and it's red this is like a red color <laughs> just popped into my head special K <laughs> funny All right, just gonna add a tiny little bit of a dip there too, see. So. Just shaping the face a little bit. I don't know if it's working, but you know, we'll give it a go, eh? Let's do it underneath the mouth here. In the corners of the mouth a little bit. What about this side of the face? I think we need a little bit here. Just turn your page so you get a nice angle and you can uh, lay down that pencil nice and smoothly. You don't want scratchiness. 
You want to try and keep it nice and smooth if you can. Let's um let's look at this. What do we need? Let's just bring that down. It's interesting shapes, isn't it? Just adding a little bit under the eyebrow there. Just making it a little bit more hooded. I'm actually kind of happy with that, so we can go back in and readjust later. Thank you, Kenny. <laughs> Karen. <laughs> It is quick. Let's continue on down in her neck. And add some depth in there. Under the chin. Just so it doesn't look like her chin sits in her neck. We want to really define that to add uh, some nice shadows under there just to create her chin. I'm turning it upside down. I want to get the right angle so I don't leave indentations in my paper. I'm going to leave it nice and smooth. Coming around the shoulder. leaving a nice shadow on her chest here so let's add it let's just add it we'll just keep working on it there's a little bit of a highlight there where her neck kind of sits out but we're going to add a fair bit of dark down here Leave a little bit of sh highlight on her shoulder. And uh, this should hopefully adding a little bit more shape to the shoulder now. So we've kind of drawn out a bit of our line around. Oh my gosh, the mower stopped. Is it going to stay stopped or is he just emptying it? Who knows? Nanny, she's barking. Bark, bark. Coming down the back. I'll leave that for hair. It's actually a bit of hair. Coming down there. It's all good. Doesn't really matter down there too much. We can just fill it all in with hair later on anyway. It would not matter. A little bit of a shadow behind the flower. I think that's good. I think I'm happy with that. Alright. A little bit here on the neck. All right, let's move to the next color. Color. I did. <laughs> I did, Karen. I did a layer of white. Hi, Dawn. Hi, Bling. Welcome. Oh, it's Rochelle, is it? Sorry. <laughs> Just read the whole name. Uh, 
I did I did a layer of white over the whole face. Shh. Shh. White Prismacolor works best, but uh, you can use the white in the polychrome shadow polychromo set. All right, we're going to move to Venetian red. Hi, <laughs> Leslie. Really? No. <laughs> oh, stop. <laughs> I'm drawing. I'm drawing. Noisy. No. I'm drawing. <clears throat> All right. Say hello. Say hello. No, don't attack me. Say hello. Okay, now you're kissing me. All right. Great. She's in a mood. <laughs> She's in a mood. <laughs> yes, I did. I used it all over. Shadow, no. make things difficult for me cut it out <laughs> it's adorable when I'm not live okay so this is a Venetian red 190 yeah I used it all over even down on the down here uh, I'm gonna copy uh, or repeat the same uh, steps that I just did coming over the top of the previous color I'm just lightly adding in another layer of pencil. Obviously the thicker the tooth is, or the larger the tooth is, the more blending and layers that you're going to have to do. Now as I colour over that, I'm just going to come out a little bit further from there. So just adding, so basically we've just got white and Venetian red in some areas. Some areas we've got both the Caput Mortem Violet and the Venetian red. This is how we blend. Because we're blending, actually I might do a quick little example of this for newcomers. So as we're blending, we've got our first colour here. You'll notice that closer to the dark area I've left darker and then it just gets a little bit lighter. Then we come over with the next colour which is Venetian Red coming over the top of that directly and over this section here but we're also going to create another part a little bit further down. And lightening it up a little bit too. Alright and then uh, the next colour I'm going to use is say Cinnamon. We're going to come over the top of all of that, just coming down over the Venetian red and then creating another section with just cinnamon. So what will happen is as we gradually blend down, the colour will get lighter and lighter. A bit of light flesh. Extending past the cinnamon. And then if I was to repeat that with the pencils again, it's going to get a little bit smoother. And each time I do it, each time I come over, it gets smoother. And that blend goes from dark to light nice and smoothly. Okay, so got ivory coming over all of it. And ivory is pretty much my last colour, so that might be a little bit of ivory in the highlights over the top of the white. But you'll notice that this section here has got a lot more pencil on it than this does down here. So when you're coming down here to do these layers, you need to make sure that you do put on, it doesn't have to be too, like, push pressure on, but just make sure that you add enough colour on there for it to smooth out as well. If you don't have enough colour there, then you're not going to get a nice smooth blend. Hi 
Nana, welcome. I hope that makes sense, guys. Hi, anyone new who's just popped in? Did I miss anyone else? Leslie, hello. <clears throat> cool. All right, so we would come back over with the darkest colour. And you'll see that starting to darken up. Then the next one. And the next one. And then the next one. And so on and so forth. So we're blending from that dark to that light colour. I hope that makes a bit of sense there. Because I know that sometimes when we're doing this, people are like, why are you doing that? That does not make sense to me. Well, let's hope this made sense. <laughs> Here we go. coming over the top I haven't left much of a gap on the forehead there I'm just going to leave that like that following our special K down the line thickening it up now. I'm just going to swap my direction because we've still got that white underneath so we've got a little bit of the graininess coming through then just change the angle and come in on a different angle and keep layering. Coming under the eye. Alright, following it down the cheek line. I'm going to swap directions again so I can get some nice colour on there. Kind of cross hatching, I guess you call it, yeah? You can hear the birds singing and the mowers going and. Nice spring day. <laughs> Going to continue over and un well, underneath the cheek here, coming down that line, giving us a little bit of a dip there. Just filling in some areas down here, creating some shape now. Sounds like he's whippersnipping now. Coming over the special K. And over that dark crease on the top of the eye. Generally when you add hair to your face, <clears throat> excuse me, the colours will lighten off a little bit so don't uh, worry too much. If you think it's too light then do another layer, make it a bit darker. If you think it's too dark, don't change anything until you've put the hair on because it will lighten. Don't know why, it just does. <laughs> There's no ex explanation to why that happens. <laughs> Put 
probably because you've not got the white of the page anymore you've got a bit of color on there doesn't stand out quite as much all right she's like oh my gosh she's all dirty looking she looks dirty right now <laughs> Oh, dear me. <clears throat> oh, you going, Leslie? Oh, no. Already? Um, it's from the Fairy Realm 1 set, uh, Nana, but you can also get it as an individual page. She's discounted it um, by 30%, I think, for the, for the, for the colour along. <laughs> I'll pop the link up. <clears throat> Excuse me. I really got a frog today. It's just there. Here we go. Um, <laughs> but yeah, fairy. it's a fairy round one, it says here. Um, Monia's like, I'll send you the image. I'm like, I already have it. Don't send it to me. I've already brought it. <laughs> I don't think there's anything of Monia's I don't have, actually. I think it's probably the same with Christine Karen. Oh, dear. So I'm coming over. The Kaput Mortem. <gasps> Nani noisy. She's having a bit of a sook this morning. It's funny, she was outside looking into the kitchen. So Cam and I go, oh, let's just have a cuddle and see what she does. Man, it's funny. She gets so jealous. <laughs> she comes right up to the door. She's like, let me in. Let me in. You cuddling? I want to join in. No cuddling without me. <laughs> it's so funny. Just coming down here now. It's really going off down there. Just coming out into that light area a little bit more. Changing directions to get some nice colour in. Nice layer and make it smoother. Let's do the next colour. Oh, there, you're probably going, oh my gosh, what are you doing? Yeah, woof, woof, all right. Nani! <laughs> I'm getting mine done tomorrow too, guys. Uh, Cassandra and Leslie. <laughs> I am cutting it off. I'm going to go short. I've made the decision. <laughs> I was thinking <clears throat> something like this. <clears throat> Maybe not pink, but <laughs> something like this. <laughs> um, I have long hair. I have bangs, which are now almost as long as the front of my hair anyway. But yeah, I'm thinking I might go that color and that short. No, not that color. That short because my hair is really long. I have cinnamon and I'm going to do the same thing. So we're going to just go over the top of the dark area. You'll notice that the darker areas will start to build up with colour now because we've done three layers. 
You like it? Yeah, I, I decided I, I'm sick of long. I went short and it had this little bob type thing. I didn't like it. It made me look bigger. But I think that might be slightly different. It's off, off the face a little bit more. And and uh, I don't know if my hairstyle, my hair thickness and things like that is going to suit that. But I'll ask my hairdresser, which is my stepsister. So yeah, that's tomorrow. I'm freaking out. <laughs> it's about time though. <laughs> I've left a little bit of a highlight in the on the forehead here. I'm just going to do a really, really, really light layer of the cinnamon over the top. Like seriously light. <laughs> Hi, Rochelle. I hope I do. That when I first said to her I wanted to go short, she's like, "Oh no, you you probably won't like it." And but you know what, after everything with lockdown and my hair and how it's overgrown and I'm just, yeah, I hate it. It's just so annoying. I can't do anything with it. I just put it up basically. I don't do anything with it. I don't style it. It just gets in my way. <laughs> it's annoying. Just really lightly going over those highlighted spots. Melanie and hello. I don't know what Hubster's gonna think of that short hair though. He no, likes long hair. I do. He just said though that he, you do what makes you feel happy. Like if you're not comfortable, then change it. Exactly. Hi, Cam. Hello, all. <laughs> How are we today? Meow. 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 One cup of tea. <laughs> Hello, dog. Hey, Nanny. Oh, good girl. You're speaking to us. Oh, I got a treat for you. Can you sing? <coughs> no, sing. La la. La la. La la. <coughs> yeah, sing. Grr. <laughs> We've been trying to teach her to find a treat and put it in different hands. Do her any mount. Cam, do we rate you out? <laughs> Lala. No. Sometimes. See you. Shh. Lala. <laughs> that was a growl. Grr. That was a sook. That wasn't a sing. I love you. I love you. <laughs> oh, thank you. Good girl. <laughs> or a good job being postponed. Okay, no worries. So I'll run next door and fix her stuff now. <laughs> He's still mowing. Is he? Yeah, I can still hear it. Oh. <laughs> so Cinnamon, I know, she's so cute. Hi, Cam, says everyone. Hey. Cam wants to have long hair, then he can take care of it. My best friend said that to her husband, and it lasted a month before he let her cut her hair. <laughs> <laughs> I, I used to have hair. Um, Cam used to have long butt. hair. We my, both had long hair. Very long. On my back. Actually, have you guys seen our... The, I, I've posted it before on Facebook. Our, our very first party together. I have a picture of. When we first met. Oh, yes. In 2004? 2004. New Year's Eve, two thousand three, two thousand four, and uh, this was us. It's in a photo frame, but oh. look at us. Look at it. this hair. He's got an undercut, but his hair was as long as my hair. <laughs> We're babies. Oh, We're like gotcha. sixteen there. <laughs> <laughs> well, Melanie, that's why we do the do the color along. All right, you. Shh. Right. 
I'll take care of it. <laughs> That's us. That's us. Little, little children there. It's so hard to believe that uh, my daughter, Alicia, she's nearly, she's 21. I was pregnant oh, yeah. at 21. Having her. It's funny, isn't it? <laughs> she's so noisy. Cute couple. <laughs> Thank you for tea. Oh, she's in a mood today. She's in a mood. He took he he took her out. She was just going off. <laughs> Let's just bring this in a little bit here. On the edge of the nose. Just lightly over these light areas, remember? I do, Wendy. I mean, um, how many years ago was that? That was 21 years ago. <laughs> 25. Actually, no, that was 25 years ago. Is that right? Yeah, 25 years ago. Sorry. Gosh, time flies. I don't look like that anymore. I got fat and <laughs> fluffy. <laughs> oh dear. Apologies for the noise. Uh, that's alright. Where's she now? Uh, she's down with Alicia. Uh -huh. Put a tray on the bench and she won't have a touch it until she's finished. Until you've finished, actually. <laughs> no worries, need coffee, okay? <laughs> Good looking couple. Wow. <laughs> no. <laughs> Daddy, you're not allowed to in here. You have to pat me. <laughs> Just wants cuddles all the time. I know, she's a big sookie bum today. Mm. It's so funny. I got into bed last night. She jumped up on me and um, she bit my arm. It was so yeah. weird. Just randomly crunch on my arm. I'm like, nice love bite. Thanks. <laughs> it's not one, it's the other, isn't it? Oh, yeah. We have kids like that too. <laughs> <laughs> they are the kids, come on. <laughs> ah, dear. Anyhow, I was saying, uh, somebody asked before, Melanie, we did explain a little bit about the skin just before if you weren't in here, but um, yeah, follow along, see how you go. Give it a go. <laughs> Your animals love you. They do. That's because they're spoiled. <laughs> hey, um, did you see the Tim Tam Slam sticker? That Emily got me? Maybe I should have a Tim Tam and do a slam. There you go. Did you like me anywhere? Get you some Tim Tams. Should I do a slam? <laughs> no, I'm good. I'm, I'm good. No, no, I just... No, you said it now. No. <laughs> Uh, I think we have. Okay, just one. Just the one. Yeah. Okay, just one. This is a Tim Tam. I think you've done a pretty good job of that. Let's zoom out again and have a look at this picture. Look, there's Emily's, and there's an actual Tim Tam. I think she's done pretty, pretty damn good. That is awesome. <laughs> they looks real. Got the corners right and all, bite the corners off. <laughs> Let's do a slam. All right, I got my tea. I got my Tim Tam. I'm going to bite the ends off. Mom, oh, that's why I moved my picture. 
<laughs> Put chocolate everywhere. Mm. Look, looks the same. <laughs> and then you use it as a straw. So you put this end in here, and then you suck the tea through here. Let's do it. And it goes all mushy. Can you see that? There's hot all inside there. I'm going to eat it before. And then you slam it in your mouth. That'll be my art shop order. Mm -hmm. okay. And um, I need to make sure I wash my hands. No, I chocolate on my pencils on my picture. No. Thank you. No problem. Catch you guys later. You spoil me. No wonder I'm fluffy. No, <laughs> <Yeah>, yeah. <Low> tea. <laughs> he spoils me. I'm fluffy. I don't know how he's not fluffy. I don't understand. <laughs> and that's it. I'm done. Slammed done. Alright, let's keep moving. This is still cinnamon. Just coming in a little bit further into that highlight. Cinnamon's one of my favourite uh, skin colours, actually. <coughs> Shadow, are you into mischief? I think she's in my miniature stuff. Just really lightly over the highlight. are noisy today. I know. It's just very sad. <laughs> She's very sad today. <laughs> Alright, let's go in with some lighter colours. Welcome back, no problems. Alright, um, let's, before we move on to the next lightest colour, which will be Light Flesh or what, uh, number 132, I think it's called Red Beige now. I don't know where my little list is here. I get it out every time. Yeah, Red Beige. I'm nearly ready to replace it, you know, but I think I did, I did buy one to replace it and uh, I think it's called Light Flesh as well, so. Oh well. <laughs> but before we go with that we're going to try medium flesh so medium flesh is now called salmon uh, it's number one hang on no sorry it's called coral my bad and it's number one three one so medium flesh and uh we're just going to use this i'm just going to zoom in a little bit more again we zoom back out to do our tim tam slam hi daniella welcome Pickwick, welcome. Did you know what? Cam was just in here before. Did you know his nickname is Turtle? I just find that kind of funny. Anyway, <laughs> the medium flesh, I'm just going to do, it's kind of a pinky colour. So we're just going to do the very edges of the eye here. Just like that. And also on this side. I'm going to add some into the cheek here. Okay. 
just like that and this side as well okay no shadow stop it she keeps getting into mischief um, I want to try to get it even but you know it's it's kind of hard sometimes especially if the face is kind of on a bit of an angle uh, you're gonna get kind of a difference anyway but I do want to try and get it a little bit even it looks pretty good I want to add a little bit of this just remembering that we've still got our lighter color to come over this so it's going to sort of I guess dampen the color up a little bit but I just want to add a tiny little bit in the nose and a little bit in that crease area there above the eyes I'm also going to add this into the corner of the eyes, just in the whites there, in the corner. Just came into the whites, just coming across the bottom of the eye there as well, giving us a waterline. Happy with that added a bit of color <laughs> he's been called turtle since he was at high school it's so random I don't know why light flesh is next which is a uh, now called red beige one three two and uh, it's a really small pencil and I probably should have found an extender for this one it's getting to that uh, length let me just grab an extender. Alright. Yeah, I'm just going to come over everything. I'm keeping it kind of on a bit of an angle. That's why I put the extender on just so it's easy to hold. Still got it nice and light. I'm not putting any pressure down yet. Usually I only put pressure down on the last layers. So usually with white or cream or ivory or whatever I'm doing in the last part of it. Remember if you need to smooth it off a little bit more, turn it on a different angle come in on a different angle so cross hatching so with a large area let's do it on here so on a larger area I'll do it with a darker color if you want to cover a larger area going like this and you've got uh, lines turn it on a different angle and come in on a different angle And look how much more smooth it looks. Different angle again. Let's try it just sideways. Let's go on that angle. Straight again. Does that make sense? So the more angles that you have the more of the tooth that you're going to cover over. So it's getting smoother and smoother and smoother the more you do. Just heard a van door. Just want to check. Nope, 
Nothing there. <laughs> Nothing there. Manya, I just sent you a message. Did you get it? You did. <laughs> Hello. Back to uh yes you did. Okay, so <laughs> I'm just replying so that uh, you can uh, see it. <laughs> All right, back to light flesh again or or red beige so called now at 132. I've done the forehead. I'm just going to come over the uh, around the eyes. And uh, I'm also going to come into the eyes, just over that light flesh, the medium flesh, sorry. Just coming into the whites a little bit. And on that waterline. I'm just going to do that on this side as well. We're having a conversation, Monia and I. Secret conversation. What are we doing for the giveaway? Because, <gasps> you know, we've been so busy from Spooktober and all of that that I failed to realise that we hadn't actually had that conversation <laughs> before the stream today. <laughs> so, <laughs> the kitty always wants something. <laughs> no, she's not hungry. We have to be really careful with her because she um, overeats if we let her. I'm so glad we only have one cat. How hard would it be to stop one from eating? <laughs> uh, anyway, yeah, she just uh, she overfills herself and then throws it up later. It's just frustrating, so we have to watch her. We only can give her a spoon of meat or she scoffs it all. And then you end up with meat all over your carpet. It's disgusting. But anyway. <laughs> Manya, I, I replied. Um, I replied. So just, uh, you know, thumbs me up if that's good. And, um, and we'll do a giveaway. Because, you know, we are already past the halfway mark. So we need to do a giveaway. I don't know why. I like to do them. They're loads of fun. <laughs> so remember I'm still using light pressure I'm just coming in on different angles to cover over that tooth <laughs> thanks Monya it's getting there slowly okay cool alright we're, we're, we're good so Monya who is here has agreed to give away a page set of your choice from digital coloring pages on her Etsy store. Yay! <laughs> so, if you would like to pick a set from the Etsy store, if you win, and let me know, and um, I will let Monya know and uh, she'll send it to you. So, who will win? I don't know. Let's let's do the... I think we've got rules here. Giveaway rules. Alright. You must contact me within 24 hours though because otherwise it gets too long and things get forgotten. Um, I already have a couple still from Spooktober that haven't contacted me. So make sure... 
that you contact me or else you'll miss out and I don't want you to miss out. All right. Okay. So, that's the wrong one. I want the giveaway one. <laughs> Wait, there's more. <laughs> Here we go. Here it is. Any giveaway or promotion is in no way sponsored, endorsed. No way sponsored, endorsed, or administered by or associated with YouTube. Pick me. I can't pick you. My Nightbot does the picking. <laughs> it is very kind of Monya. So, not that. Karen, I like that. Amy, hi. No problems. Hi, Kira Lee, welcome. <laughs> hi, Raya, welcome. Oh my gosh, how many people did I miss today? <gasps> Lucky I saw Monya there. <laughs> how was that coffee, by the way? I've got tea still. Okay, the word is. Are you ready? The word is. I just picked flower. Because there's flowers on here. F L. <laughs> How do you spell flower again? <laughs> F L O W E R. Flower. <laughs> okay, cool. So, what uh, you would you're entering now into is Nightbot will choose a winner. still using light flesh just coming in and doing a few layers Let's see if we can get some nice smooth skin here without using white later we might have to use white still but that's okay Just coming over everything. I'm just missing the edge of the lip here. I want to make that a little bit lighter around there. And just around the nose here, there's still some light areas, which we're going to come back in with in a minute with the ivory and just come in and lighten those up a little bit. If you've got a heavier tooth paper, you might not look this smooth yet. I'm still not smooth in these areas. I need to come back in with another layer of everything and redo. Has everyone put down the word flower? Hi, Renee. Welcome. I have 31 people who have entered and there's 47 in here. So if there's anyone here, excuse me, who wants to enter into the giveaway be great if we could have 40 <laughs> everybody can enter um, because it's the start of a new color along I mean obviously I'm not going to enter and Monia's not going to enter but you know I'm sure there's packs that you would like that you've seen The packs usually have like five images roughly. Uh, don't quote me on that because I haven't looked on there properly. But yeah, I think that's usually how much a pack has in it. So yeah, go check it out. Just heard a door again. What's going on out there, Shadow? Can't see anyone. Bang, bang, door, door. <laughs> Knock a little louder, honey. Sorry. <laughs> Changing directions. Changing directions.
<laughs> yes, B-52s, you got it. All right, are you ready? We have 33. I convinced another, another two to enter. All right, here we go. I'm going to roll it. It'll come up in the chat box. Here we go. The winner is... Zeely! <laughs> Congratulations! <laughs> Woohoo! Zeely, if you could please email me. <coughs> At here. <laughs> Where's Zeely? Did you did Zeely Ah oh, there you go. Whoop whoop <laughs> Email me me email me 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 English is not good today. Yeah. Email me with your choice and I'll let Mon you know. Yay Zeely Big thank you, Monya. Also, if you want this image at the discounted price, uh, make sure you go check it out on our Etsy store as well. And uh, it is uh, here. Yes, congratulations. Whoop, whoop. <laughs> okay, Monya, I'm going to have a conversation with you after the stream too because we'll chat about next week and the week after and the week after that. <laughs> Make sure I've got everything right. <laughs> It was so weird though because I thought it was only not long ago that I spoke to you about it but it turns out I went back to my messages and it turns out I actually asked Monia to do this last year. So <laughs> time has flown. You know what? No, I think that's part of her hair there as well. Cool. Just checking. All right. Coming back down here. Doing another layer. on a different angle as well. Now it sounds like uh, it's scratching and it's not heavy pressure. I think another way you can tell that it's not heavy pressure is that that noise as well because I'm running over the ridges of the paper it's making a lot of noise. I'm not imagining it. I just heard a car start. Alright. Let's go back with our darkest colour again. Uh, before I come over with the, the last colour because I want to just make sure everything's nice and dark. Zealy green just flows. <laughs> we'll do another giveaway. Another. Another. Oh gosh. Another giveaway <laughs> next week. <laughs> uh, not having much luck with that. Words just don't work today. Let's add a little bit of depth on the edges here. Coming back in with my kaput mortem.
Now you should, this is going on so smoothly and easily. You shouldn't have to put any pressure on. Just put that out there. Let's go our special K area again. Down the nose and just that nice <laughs> into the shadows under the eye just giving her a little bit of depth now Don't forget under the nose and in the nostrils here. I guess the main reason I'm on just put those shadows and that shading on that nose area so that you can get that shape of the nose. It just makes it a little bit easier to colour. Adding a little bit of this into the lip, just there, under the lip. And, uh, I'm just going to use an eraser. <laughs> it's my special one. <laughs> Thanks, Robin. <laughs> Every time I pick it up. <laughs> shape that lip a little bit better there <laughs> no worry shall oh I love polychromos they're one of my favorite pencils too Barbara lovely so we're just giving our shadows a little bit more depth So I'm just going into a couple of areas here to add that. It's a bit of definition from the shoulder and the rest of the chest there. A bit of a shadow from the hair. Looking for some areas that need a bit of shape. Trying to keep it even. <laughs> Trying. <laughs> Not doing very good here. <laughs> Mm. 
means heavenly child. I don't know how to say it. Is it Lilana? Lilana? Did I say it right? Uh, coming over with Venetian red. Just blending that out. Layla. Leilana. What? Leilana? Le Leilani? Leilani. Is that right? <laughs> Did I say it right? <laughs> Leilani? I don't know. Leilani. Leilani. <laughs> Night child. She gone. She gone, girl. Oh, that was a creepy movie. Gone, girl. Was not what I was expecting when I went to see it. <laughs> Has anyone seen it? Go on, girl. It's got Charlie Thornton. Is that how you say her name? It's creepy. <laughs> I walked out of there going, she was definitely gone. I know, creepy, big, quick, <laughs> super creepy, super creepy. Hi, Naomi. Welcome. Ah, uh, super creepy. Super crazy chick, that's for sure. <laughs> Super crazy chick. <laughs> this is Venetian red. Kind of making sure that I cover over all of that uh, grey too that was on the face. We uh, had a bit of shading in there so I want to make sure I colour over all of that too. Super freaky. Yeah, you could explain. <laughs> Has anyone ever seen Dead Calm? Oh, who's in it? He's in Dead Calm, Robin. I was on something the other day and I noticed a movie called The First Power. It was one of the very first horror movies I ever saw. Or scary movies. Super freaky also. Kind of reminds me of that Fallen movie with Denzel Washington. I think it's called Fallen. Yeah. <laughs> Nicole Kidman, dead calm. I don't know now, now you've said that. 
The Zane guy. Oh, okay. I don't know. I don't think I have seen it. I'm usually pretty good with movies. I usually sort of know what I've seen and what I haven't. But, you know, you never know. I actually watched... Um, when I was younger, The Craft was a big... Um, movie the craft you guys anyone ever watched that it was a about four girls who find become witches and one of them goes a little bit mental <laughs> she's looking really dark right now definitely need to come back in with those lighter colors um anyway have you seen it the craft there's another craft called um the craft of legacy and i watched it last night it was actually quite good and uh bad acting but it was alright. It had David Duchovny in it. Um, anyhow. At the end of the movie I was like, oh my god! Like the link that they made to the original movie. It was so good. Loved it. It was good. Teenage-y type movie. It wasn't, you know, adult or anything, but kind of scary. Some bits were a little bit plot, plot hole-y. You know, it made me go, what? Why did they do that? But, um, otherwise... I can't believe how old David Duchovny's got, though. <laughs> From his molder days. I don't think we're going to get the skin finished. I wanted to. Let's go back to cinnamon. Ah, <laughs> the craft. It was good. It was uh, a, a very. It was very my time. It was very popular. Uh, probably because that's the age that I was at the time <laughs> that it came out. using cinnamon and now the tooth's actually starting to look nice and flat in these darker areas do you know what I love about these pencils and this particular paper actually yeah uh, the Strathmore mixed media range is awesome is how many layers that I can get with it now I use the cinnamon very lightly over all of the light areas as well I'm going to repeat that just very lightly just so I don't get those like shiny patches <laughs> too much don't forget we always go through our ugly duckling stage as well and there's a point where everything kind of smooths out and lightens up. Just changing direction a couple of times here as well so I get a nice layer. Oh, that would be my... That would be my driveway. Do you think? Nope, it was across the road. <laughs> I keep hearing noises today. <laughs> A bunch of Christmas movies? Ah, oh, okay. I don't, I don't think I'm, the only Christmas movies that we've watched kind of on a regular basis would be the Santa Claus movies with Tim Allen. Oh, that is here. So 
random. Hang on. Oh, it's Cameron outside. <laughs> Cam. Working. Okay, let's get this nice smooth blend going. Yeah, I'm not really into Christmas movies that much. I don't know why. <sighs> All right, let's get this smoothed out so we can finish the skin off, eh? So, um, <clears throat> I got some, uh, everlasting tips. I posted them on, uh, Discord to show. I got a pack of the Christmas pack from them. Uh, and, uh, they had limited time sale thing with them. And I changed over what pens I do have at the moment. <laughs> I changed over to them and I used them on one of my sections of my Into Wonderland. And oh my gosh, they're amazing. I can't believe I didn't try them earlier. Um, I really like them. <laughs> uh, I think it was Naomi. She's like, is it worth the money? Like, I don't understand. <laughs> Well, look, they are expensive, but oh my goodness, I really, I, I don't, I don't know why I didn't try something like that earlier. Has anyone got everlasting tips? <laughs> All right, she's looking really dark, scary looking. What lies beneath? Oh, what's that one? Tell me what six cents was pretty scary. That was twisty too. All right, I'm using light flesh over everything. And uh, I'm not too worried about pressure or anything now because I haven't got much tooth, so it really doesn't matter what pressure I use. But I'm still using my pencil on the side, so it's not heavy, heavy pressure. Just coming over it a couple of times. And uh, you'll watch it go from this dark colour to a nice light skin colour in a minute when I use the white and ivory. So this is light flesh or if you're using the new one it's a uh, Red beige, 132. Make sure I come over the nose and the special K area. I decided to do all of the skin at once this time I didn't do parts because I found that uh, the last few times I've done the skin doing it uh, in sections the lower part of the body the skin's been slightly different to the top and I think it's because doing it on different days you forget what sort of uh, pressures and and color like you know mixes that you do do so uh, I decided this time we'd do it all at once so it gets more even. 
how's it going on? What makes them different? Okay, so first of all, uh, I'll show you a tip that I've used a little bit here. I can find it. Here you go. See this tip? It's supposed to be smooth. It's supposed to be flat across there, like smooth, like a brand new one would look something like that, like really smooth across the top. And uh, this is only, this is the most recent one I was using, so it's not, it's fairly new, but look at this already from pushing down. And then what happens is when that happens, the diamonds don't sit in properly. They kind of sit wonky, they don't sit straight anymore. These also stretch, so the more that you're pushing down with diamonds in the wrong direction and things like that, they open up so they stretch and become bigger, which also makes them not, not uh, smooth and in a straight line anymore. Also, this tip here was in my pen. Look at this. Can you see that? It's bent. It's not even round anymore. So every time I tried to pick up a diamond, it just kept falling out. So I'd fill up the, the wax as far as I could uh, and then get wax all over my beads because I was trying to compensate for this little flat bit here. So that needed to be changed. Uh, but these are really soft. They actually bend really, really easily. Um, and when you're doing larger diamond paintings, you want them to be straight, otherwise you're coming back in and you're readjusting things all the time. So they're made of stainless steel, not plastic, or what it, whatever this metal is, I don't even know what that is. It's like a bronze or copper type material, I don't know. All right, <clears throat> let's just add a little bit more of that medium flesh, just to the cheeky area there. And uh, just up here on the eye. A little bit on the nose. On the lip there. Okay, I'm gonna add cream, no, ivory, I should say. Ivory. <laughs> I should have a sign. Belinda enabled me. They are quite expensive, but I'm in Australia, so we don't, it's post-wise, it's a bit different because they're made here, so. All right, I'm going to put a little bit of pressure on and uh, I'm going to smooth out some of the tooth here with ivory. Now I'm adding a bit of ivory because the skin was looking, looks really pink with all those colors that we used. So adding a bit of ivory just sort of balances it out a little bit. So it's ivory. The cream is probably a little bit too yellow but some of the pencil sets don't have an ivory like this so some of the other sets you'll get uh, the cream will be the comparison or the, the colour that will be uh, substituted I guess converted <laughs> I'm coming all the way out over the dark areas as well and just smoothing it out just lightening off some of the pink if I can I prefer to kind of stop at this layer and not do any more but sometimes white is needed it depends on depends. I may need some white in just a couple of highlight areas just to go that slightly, you know, that slight shade later, lighter, lighter. Pfft, can't talk. No talking!
dropping them. Yeah, eggshell. You could do that. <laughs> oh yes, uh, true. You, I have um, uh, I have acrylic pens. Yes. Um, you can get them from Diamond Art Club when you sometimes when they come out. <laughs> um, I got a couple off Etsy. Um, I got one off um, AliExpress. I can grab them if you'd like to see them. I know how cool is that looking? It's just it comes together, doesn't it? It it goes from like that ugly duckling kind of. You know, oh, I'm not really sure what, where she's going with this. <laughs> to, oh wow, that looks pretty cool. I like it. Trust me, I do that myself every day. <laughs> every day. Every day I'm shuffling then. <laughs> All right, I'm going to use white. I'm going to use a Prismacolor white. Actually, yes, we'll use Prismacolor white. And uh, I've got to find it. Um, look, I don't know, uh, Naomi. Some of the pens, like I've I've talked to, like Linda. She does a lot of diamond painting. She says. She's got a couple of pens that didn't sort of pan out that they broke. Um, but I think they're pretty much, I don't know, to me, it depends on what shape you want and things like that. Like, I don't like the really smooth ones. I like the ones with the bumpy. Just going around her mouth with the white. And I'm also going to do the same with her nose, just here. Add in some highlight there. And uh, just around the bottom of her face, just a little bit of a highlight. Uh, I think that's pretty good actually. I'm quite happy with that today. If you think that it needs still a little bit more depth or you've gone in too much, use cinnamon. Don't go for the darkest colour. Try a bit of cinnamon uh, and see if that helps. And come back over it with the ivory again too. I'm actually happy with that. I think it's good. I think the there's plenty of depth in there. And she's nice and smooth and creamy now. And I just dug that in by accident. Bummer. Bummer. Oh, good. Let's add a little bit more white on the tip of her nose there. That'll do. Alright, I like that. That looks good. Let's continue, shall we? Do? I'll show you. I'll show you the one I've got. Uh, I actually need to go to the bathroom and then we'll finish up, so bear with me. Back again. These are the ones I have. Cam's also fixing one for me at the moment. So that's a two placer in a single. That's a three in a single. 
So this plastic part here, um, I've just replaced that little, instead of being that little tiny, <laughs> instead of it being that bit, oops, of course my board's on a bit of an angle. So everything rolls off. I replaced it with the everlasting one. It's a little bit bigger too. And this one I've done it, it's a skinnier pen, so that's a thicker one. I like the thicker ones the best. My hands don't get as cramped up using them. I like the bigger ones. But I always wrote with bigger pens when I was at school too, so. Uh, but you can get different types, so it depends on what size you like. I've had this one too. Like that's just a little round piece of, it's like a polymer clay or something, it's weird. I've put a placer, a uh, straightener in that one <laughs> and I haven't changed that yet because I probably won't use that. It's mainly for a straightener, but yeah, they're kind of cool. I love them. They're, you can get different colors, styles, of course mine are all purple. <laughs> I've got some coming that have got gold in them and blues. Um, yeah, very nice. Where is my ivory gun? let's finish this off huh? flattening off that tooth putting a bit of pressure on I, when I put the pressure on too I also use like a bit of a circular motion I guess um, rather than lines See, this section up here was so dark, but now we've just lightened it off slightly. And uh, now I've lightened it off, but I think it needs a little bit more of the red in there. So I'm just going to add a tiny little bit of Venetian red. Um, so they had a special on the, uh, but they, it was only in October, the Everlasting Tips, by the way. Um, I brought one of their special packs that they have, and it was a Christmas pack. But yeah, they were only, he only had a certain amount of, or she only had a certain amount of sets, so, uh, of the specials. And I think I got the last, there was two left when I brought mine, so they sold out pretty quick and because of the price it's an investment so it probably takes a lot for people to have a think about it and decide whether to get a set or not <clears throat> but I don't I think they only do them in October <laughs> no problems we're actually nearly finished I'm just gonna finish straightening off this little bit of well, smoothing off this bit of skin here and then I'm gonna head off as well and uh, we'll do some more next week I didn't get to do uh, actually I will finish the eyes as well have we got time who's hanging around let's do it it's only extra 15 minutes we can do that I think A lot of this skin down here is going to be covered up with hair anyway, but let's just add it, smooth it off as much as we can. Um, and uh, just a bit of white, just around the shoulder, 
there. Just to uh, bring it forward that tiny little bit. <coughs> so for the eyes, I'm just going to use a little bit of that ivory in the whites of the eye. And then using the white uh, polychromos, I'm just going to flatten the tooth out in there. It's just nice and sharp. You get nice pointed lines. I'm going to use some, um, I'm going to zoom in a bit so you can see it. <laughs> it is, isn't it? <laughs> it is a little bit creepy without them. Uh, permanent olive green. I'm just going to put it at the top of the iris there. And this one. And then I've got some light green. And I'm just going to leave a tiny little patch at the bottom there, really light. Just really lightly coming over. I'm going to use white to blend that out. bit of a bowl shape there. <laughs> Got black, which is tiny. Another one I need a, a, a thing on. <laughs> Let's just go around the pupil. Just relining the original eye lines there. Just shading on the top of the lid a little bit on the side there. And I'm just going to follow that line, the water line, all the way along with that black. Looking good, and then just following these lovely eyelashes. Some of them I'm going to make a little bit longer, and I'm actually going to put a couple in between as well, thicken them up a little bit. I can hear Shadow snoring. Just following the ones that are there and just adding a couple more in. Beautiful. Could use sepia if you wanted to. Just try to simplify it for the colourless though, so that uh, 
those converting mm, I like it looks good I think I need to add a tiny little bit of uh, I've got uh, some Van Dyke brown which I'm going to use in the what are they called eyebrows but before I do that I'm just going to shape that little piece there I didn't want to make that black that I'll do a little bit lighter that's a bit better just adding that extra bit of shape there just on the edge of the waterline at the back there nice she looks cool all right add a bit of white gel pen into the eyes there And I'm also going to add a tiny little spot on the very edge of the eye, just like that. Maybe even with a smaller gel pen. Just pop a couple of little sparkles. Just the bottom of the waterline and on the little... there. Looks cool. Adding a tiny little shiny there too, I think. Alright, now in the eyebrows I've got uh, Van Dyke Brown and uh, I've got it fairly sharp and I'm just going to do little flicks. Just a couple of those I'm flicking up there and then the rest we're going to kind of flick in this direction. Honestly, if I was doing pink hair or something like that, I'd still probably do the eyebrows this colour. I wouldn't do pink eyebrows, so... <laughs> Keep them kind of that colour there. <laughs> Let's use the... Uh... <laughs> I know, aren't they pretty? She's lovely. Alright, let's do the lips. I'm going to use the Kaput Mortem Violet. And we're just going to shape that middle of the lip there. Just adding a little bit of depth to the edges there. Just coming around the outside of the lip just going to shade down the middle making a bit of an M shape there and a bit of a W on the top maybe All right. now the two colours I've got a nice bright pink so Monya, thank you so much for hanging around. <laughs> She's starting to look good though. All right, uh, we've got pink carmine. I'm going to use a little bit of pressure in here. Just get our outline going. Just filling in the edges of the mouth there just down the middle <laughs> and then I've got uh, Rose Carmine just 
just going to leave a little white spot on the top lip there. And um, just a little bit on each side here. Putting a bit of pressure down to flatten that tooth out now. Getting it nice and smooth. Down the middle. And I've just left a couple of areas just slightly shaded there. And I'm going to grab the white. Oh, Faber Castell white. <clears throat> Polychromos white. I'm just going to blend that in. And that's pretty much it. I need a little bit more of that rose comb on just there. If you've got any areas that aren't flat, you could use a full blender to do that. Now, our lip's a little bit off here, so I'm just going to use the white to draw under that. And a white gel pen. Pretty. Let's just zoom back out again. All right, that's it for this week. And you know what? I think I did a pretty good job of getting it to how I had it. <laughs> I have blonde hair pretty much all over too I got no hair it's blonde fine hair but occasionally you get this one little black hair that just pops out from nowhere you know <laughs> anyway next week we will start to work on the hair so we'll get it done bit by bit I'm glad we got that finished so it means I don't have to come back to this and revisit it we can just get straight down to the hair uh, which I'm going to do I think a brownie maybe a brownie blonde color I'm not totally sure yet as I said I haven't worked it out completely I just know that I wanted the flowers pink so so far <laughs> so Zeely don't forget to email me please so I can get those details off to Monya and big thank you to Tara Lynn and Ev for super chats today um, and welcome to the newcomers and new subscribers as well uh, if you want to get this image, make sure you pop over to Monya's Etsy store, Colour My Dreams, here. And uh, there's already a discount on this one, so no worries, True. You already did. Ah, uh, <laughs> too quick. Oh, there you are. Hang on, wait. No, what? No. Oh, yes, there you are. Found you. All good. Gotcha. <laughs> Big thanks, Monya, and um, I will see you. Uh, Monday. Monday I'm doing a paint by numbers review and yeah I think we might maybe do the Australian giveaway uh, for the diamond painting then too maybe. Uh, yeah so cool I'll see you later. <laughs> Bye everyone! <laughs>